All right, welcome back to the link. We're closing the show with someone uh, who you might have heard of with uh, all the news from the American Song Fa- uh, Song Contest. He is representing the Northern Mariana Islands. Matthew Sablon, aka Savio, joins us live in the Zoom room now. Savio, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us. I'm doing good. I appreciate it. I'll update everybody out there in Guam. It's good to be here. And so uh, let us know uh, when you uh, received the news of uh, you representing the CNMI in uh, NBC's uh, American Song Contest. What was your reaction? Uh, where were you? And uh, how do you feel now uh, several weeks out? Uh, man, I'm just honored, honored to be part of the show. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of uh, incredible talent in the CNMI. And, um, and you know, I just I feel very fortunate to uh, to just re- be representing and um, sharing my original music with the world, so. And tell us a little bit about uh, your upbringing and where you grew up on Saipan uh, for those who might be meeting you for the first time. Yeah, so um, I, I was born in Saipan. Uh, I, I lived, uh, like my family, my mom's side's from Garapan, my dad's side's from Tanapag. Um, and uh, just kind of moved around the island a little bit when I was growing up. and. Uh, when I was about 10, moved to Hawaii for a few years, and then uh, eventually out to uh, Washington State, which is where I'm at now. So I've uh, just been, you know, going back and forth to, to visit family um, while I'm, when I'm staying out here and um, uh, just enjoying being back home when I'm there. So. All right. I wanted to share uh, the uh, NBC American Song Contest uh, bio that they put out. No musically, as Savio Matthew Sablon is a songwriter, producer, and multi instrumentalist known for blending island and stateside influences alike, reggae, jazz, and soul, all combined in his eclectic style. Uh, so, how would you describe your music, and uh, if uh, folks were, and uh, where can folks find your music right now? Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, I I personally don't like the idea of like genres to define my music so if, if you were to pick one i'd say world music is, is it you know i just i just have such a, a vast uh influence of different uh genres and and artists and um and so you know in, in one song you'll hear like reggae island reggae um kind of vibe and in another song you'll hear like uh jazz or hip-hop or, or rapping that kind of thing so um and then uh, like sometimes you hear like folk songs and, and uh, sometimes you hear rock or metal. And so it's, it's all kind of influences uh, there. Um, as far as where you can find my music, um, sabyu.com, S-A-B-Y-U.com. Uh, I'm on all the platforms. So like Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, SoundCloud, um, just type in S-A-B-Y-U and you'll find me. All right, and uh, who are you? Uh, who are some of your inspirations, local or you know, worldwide? Uh, who would you say uh, influence your your kind of style? Uh, influences. Uh, I mean, local. I just, I just remember local music growing up. Uh, Chamorro Kalinian tunes, um, and like whether that's on the radio or um, at family gatherings, uh, just jamming with people, um, and then like some stateside influences. I remember when I hit Hawaii, I, was, I, I loved listening to Brother Is and Kyle Crater Boys. And uh, and uh, that's when I got into Bob Marley more. Shout out to Uncle Bob. Um, and then uh, stateside, you know, I, I was in Washington. So grunge music was pretty big out here. Um, you know, like Nirvana, Soundgarden, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and that's when like rock and metal and and hip hop started uh, becoming part of my life. So, um, and then I also studied uh, ethnomusicology at the University of Washington. So I, I was really uh, involved in all these different music from cultures around the world: um, Indonesian gamelan, West African drum and dance, um, Afro-Peruvian cajon, gospel piano. So, like all of these things, kind of influenced my myself as a musician. And uh, so that's why I, I kind of say it's hard to define my music as like one genre. It's just so many people, uh, incredible musicians that have impacted my life and my, my music journey. So. And so, uh, Savio, correct me if I'm wrong, you're 28 years old. Uh, you're going to be joining at least uh, 55 other artists, uh, some of them big names. Uh, what's your 
what do the next weeks uh, look like for you? What does preparation look like for you? What, what are, what's going through your mind as you uh, prepare to take on this journey? Yeah, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, a lot of pre-production that I've never experienced before. You know, it's my first time on being on such a big stage, you know, so um, just a lot of like communication with the, the producers and then um, going out to Los Angeles uh, within the, the month here to then uh, get ready for the show. Um, it's a lot of uh, excitement, but you know, it's also a lot of work to be put in. So um, just riding the wave and uh, navigating these seas out here, you know? Yeah, what are you most looking forward to showcasing? I know uh, you've got a flood of support from those in the NMI just rooting you on. So excited to see your name there representing uh, the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. So uh, what are you hoping to, uh, you know, let the world know through this process? Uh, I know you uh, also just want to, uh, you know, have a good time with this, uh, with this uh, contest as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, it, and actually, actually, that's one thing I want to mention too is, uh, congrats and shout outs to Jason J representing Guam. Um, I know that he's gonna represent you guys like super well, so I'm I'm excited to, to hopefully meet him and cross paths with him in in person. Um, so shout outs to Jason J and uh, as far as like a message to. Um, to, to folks out there, you know, I think it's, it comes down to the idea of even though you come from such a small place, small island, you can really make big waves to impact the world. And I think through, through my music and through my music journey, I'm, I'm doing that. And so I want to inspire, especially the young artists in our, in our community, you know, the Marianas to, uh, if, you, if you're into art, if you're into music, if you're into dance, whatever expression it is, um, follow that passion, you know, and uh, grow that passion, grow that um, drive, and you never know where it's going to take you, you know, it might, might take you to American Song Contest, who knows. All right, Savio, I'm sure you'll be hearing us uh, cheering from the NMI in Guam, again, that's uh, uh, Savio uh, representing the uh, Northern Mariana Islands and NBC's uh, American Song Contest, and again, if you want to check out his music, uh, that's uh, sabyu.com, S-A-B-Y-U.com. Uh, Sabyu, thanks so much for joining us, and best of luck. Hope to be in touch. Of course. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And also, uh, shout-outs to, to Chris Barnett. I know, I think it's, uh, you're from the, you're, you're like Chris Barnett, malfunction Chris Barnett, right? No, that's my brother, actually. <laughs> no, I'm, this I'm is a, him. I'm this a, is yeah, the real thing. I'm a dingad. That's my other, the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sabyu. Yep, thank you guys. Good luck. Appreciate it. That's the, right on. Uh, nine o'clock. Now I'm Chris Barnett on this show. <laughs> I thought you were Bobak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Bobak for Master Warm. I'm identifying as Bobak. Uh, Tomas, thank you. Thank you. Exciting. Can't what do you think would win, in. though? I mean, what if it, If I don't know how the contest works, but what if it came down to Guam and the cinema? Yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right. That would be great. Why not? That would be awesome. Yeah. Hey, what are you uh, working on for this week? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, big news coming out. The pre-hearing conference for the CNMI impeachment trial of Governor Ralph Torres is set for Wednesday at 10 a.m. It's unclear if we're going to, for the first time, see Governor Torres enter the chambers to sit down with uh, the legislature or if he's going to send one of his four attorneys or all four of them. Uh, and it's also going to be interesting to see who the House selects as their House uh, impeachment manager or prosecutor. Uh, based on the rules, is that going to be the speaker? Is that going to be the chair of the impeachment committee? Uh, or is that going to be a, a someone hand-selected from the Senate president? So Wednesday, 10 a.m., the CNMI Senate is holding a pre-hearing conference, and uh, lots of folks are uh, going to be paying attention because this is basically the first step of the trial, which everyone has been waiting for. Thank you, Tomas. So, thank you. All right, Tomas Maglotnia he covers uh, regional matters, does, does, does a whole lot, all of things. Uh, 901, we're KUAM FM, Magadha, Guam, on The Breeze, 93.9. Buenas, Bananas, Abdullahs, Guahusi, Bolbac, Biba, Mestamoru, Biba, when in doubt, 